Giraffes are more than just awkwardly beautiful creatures. They're marvels of evolution. Their necks alone stretch longer than most humans are tall, letting them munch leaves high above other animals. Yet somehow, those same necks support a head that can deliver a bone-shattering kick when danger strikes. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to Explore Wildlife. Evolution and Taxonomy Giraffes might look like they stepped out of a Dr. Seuss book, but they've got a long family history. Imagine giraffes with shorter necks, or even ones looking a bit like striped horses. Those were the giraffe's ancestors, roaming Africa millions of years ago. The only other survivor from that family tree is the Okapi, a rainforest dweller with a much shorter neck. For decades, everyone assumed there was just one kind of giraffe's spots were like fingerprints. But it gets weirder. Those spot patterns reveal four completely different giraffe species. Northern, Southern, Maasai, and reticulated giraffes. It's like finding out there are actually four types of zebras hiding in plain sight. This new discovery is a big deal for conservation. A smaller population of a specific giraffe species is even more at risk than we thought. Physical Characteristics Forget skyscrapers. Giraffes are the true marvels of height. A full-grown male can tower as tall as a two-story house. Picture those long legs stretching taller than most basketball players. Perfect for snagging a leafy snack that no one else can reach. Everyone obsesses over the giraffe's neck length, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Believe it or not, they have the same number of neck bones as you. Seven. But theirs are like super-sized building blocks. Special joints let them bend in all directions, while powerful muscles keep everything steady. Each giraffe wears a coat, as unique as your own fingerprints. Those spots aren't just for show. They help scientists tell giraffe species apart. Reticulated giraffes rock big, bold patches, while Maasai giraffes have a more jagged, starburst look. See those bumps on a giraffe's head? Those are called ossicones, and they start out soft like your ears. Over time, they harden into bone. Both males and females sport them, but male giraffes have thicker ossicones, often worn smooth on top from friendly headbutting battles. Those long legs look a bit awkward, but don't be fooled. Giraffes can sprint as fast as a galloping racehorse, a lifesaver when a hungry lion comes calling. And if running isn't enough, they can deliver a kick that would make a karate master jealous. Imagine the force it takes to send those tree trunk legs flying. How do you get blood all the way up to a brain on such a tall stilt? With a super-powered heart, of course. A giraffe's heart is a massive two feet long and weighs more than a hefty bowling ball. It's got all sorts of special tricks to make sure its owner doesn't faint every time it takes a drink. Habitat and Behavior Imagine wide-open grasslands dotted with flat-topped acacia trees or sun-dappled woodlands. That's giraffe country. These spaces give them the perfect balance. Plenty of tall trees to eat from and visibility to spot approaching danger. Just like you might prefer a cozy house or a bustling city, different giraffe species have their own favorite type of landscape. Some like it thick with trees, while others find safety in more open spaces. Giraffes are social creatures, but their herds are more like a relaxed hangout than a strict club. They wander in groups that change members all the time. There's no boss giraffe. Everyone's free to stroll off on their own or join another group whenever they feel like it. Giraffe communication is subtle. They use soft rumbles too low for us to hear, gentle coughs and snorts, and even shifts in how they stand to send each other messages. Picture a giraffe's head held high. It's not just about reaching the good leaves. Their amazing eyesight lets them scan the horizon for danger. Lions, hyenas, and other predators have a tough time sneaking up on a giraffe. Giraffes boost their safety even more by hanging out with zebras, ostriches, and other sharp-eyed animals. It's the original neighborhood watch program. One spots trouble, and everyone gets the warning. Diet and feeding habits. 
Giraffes are the ultimate treetop snackers. Their favorite food, acacia leaves, grows out of reach for most other animals. With a tough tongue that wouldn't mind a few pokes and a stomach built to handle tough stuff, thorns are no problem for these guys. Sometimes they'll broaden their menu with other leaves, blossoms, or seeds for a bit of variety. And get this, they even chew on bones occasionally. Sounds strange, but it's a good way to get extra minerals for growing those huge bodies. Giraffes live in hot, dry places where water isn't always easy to find. They've become experts at squeezing every drop of moisture out of what they eat. Juicy leaves are their main water source, and they can survive for weeks without taking a long drink. But when they finally do find a watering hole, things get awkward. To reach the water, they have to do a wide-legged limbo pose, leaving them extra vulnerable to a sneaky predator attack. Reproduction and Life Cycle Male giraffes spend their lives roaming around, looking for the perfect lady giraffe. Sometimes, proving you're the toughest guy on the savanna is part of the dating game. That's where necking comes in. Two males will spar, swinging their long necks and heavy heads at each other. The winner gets a shot at impressing the female. Imagine carrying a baby for over a year. That's a giraffe mom's reality. Their pregnancy lasts a whole 15 months. When the time finally comes, the calf takes a wild ride into the world, a six-foot drop to the ground. It sounds crazy, but that fall helps kickstart the baby's breathing. Giraffe calves don't have time to relax. They learn to stand and wobble around within an hour of birth. Predators won't wait. Mothers are super protective, but the world is dangerous for a baby giraffe. Many don't make it past their first year, but those that do are in for a growth spurt. They can shoot up a whole foot taller in a single month. The average giraffe in the wild lives for about 15, 25 years. In the safety of a zoo, they sometimes make it into their 30s. But in the wild, life is always risky. Less space to roam, poachers looking for trophies, and even accidents like getting tangled in fences make every day a challenge for these gentle giants. Unique Behavioral Adaptations Imagine trying to eat a salad full of thumbtacks. That's a giraffe's life. But they've got some awesome tricks for munching on thorn-covered branches. Their tongue is ridiculously long and can curl around to grab tasty leaves. Tough lips and super thick, sticky saliva protect their mouth from getting poked. Giraffes aren't the type to sleep in. They doze in short bursts, sometimes for only a few minutes at a time. They might even take a nap standing up. This might seem weird, but it's the best way to stay alert in a place where hungry lions are always on the prowl. A giraffe's legs might look a bit goofy, but don't let that fool you. Those tree trunk limbs pack a serious punch. If a giraffe feels cornered, it can send a lion flying with a single, powerful kick. It's their secret weapon when simply running away isn't enough. Giraffe Myths and Misconceptions You might imagine giraffes getting their necks hopelessly tangled while dueling. Turns out, this is almost impossible. Their necks are built with power, all muscle and bone. Plus, those knobby ossicones on their heads actually help keep necks from getting looped around each other during a tussle. For a long time, everyone thought giraffes were silent. But scientists have heard it all now. Hums, snorts, bellows, and more. The catch is, a lot of their communication happens in tones too low for humans to pick up. Imagine a deep rumble that you feel more than here. Giraffes are masters at surviving on the moisture in leaves, but they aren't camels. They still need to drink water sometimes. Unfortunately, having to splay their legs wide at the watering hole puts them at serious risk. No wonder they try to get the majority of their water from the food they eat. Subscribe if you liked the video, and there's another one showing on the screen.